Hang on just a moment, Alice. I'm just trying to sort through uh, the uh, utilities here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, welcome to the RFC Editor's Future Program. Um, this is co-chaired by myself and um, Brian Rosen. Um, by way of testing the tool, I'll ask Brian to say hello. Otherwise, uh, we'll have uh, some issues. Can people hear me? Let's see here. Doesn't have his microphone connected. Note that there's a separate video and audio stream. So, Brian, you need to click on the rightmost uh, button underneath your profile picture that shows a microphone with a play button. I'm not sending a video. If would people like me to send video? I'm happy to send video. Um, I know that uh, sometimes uh, the people complain because it takes too, uses too much bandwidth, and I, I don't want to be uh, yes more video. Okay, uh, if people uh, find that the video is uh, too much, please let me know. All right, hopefully you can see me in my lovely work area, and. Um, all right, uh, so um, hopefully uh, Brian will catch up. Um, it's a tooling experiment for everybody this week, um, and uh, I hope that uh, I, we're all able to figure out how to how to manipulate things. And as you guys are pretty much almost all senior to me and have probably been in a bunch of these things before, I know you won't be shy in telling me what to do when I need to do it if I can't quite get it right, okay? Um, before we begin, I need some help. We did not receive any volunteer requests for uh, note taking or minute taking. And I wonder if somebody could just shout out in the chat room that they would, oops, that they would be willing to uh, participate, uh, to, to, to take minutes. Um, let's see here. Nope, you apparently are not sending audio there, Brian. I'm not sure why not. So um, let's see here. Uh, okay, I have a volunteer. Thanks, Braun. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see here. You need to click the send audio button. Um, let's see here. And uh, if you, I don't know if you're seeing the chat there, Brian. You must be seeing the chat because you chatted. Let's hope you you are. Okay. So um, let's see here. We shall begin. Um, and the way we begin with all these meetings, of course, is um, with a note well. Hello. Um, well, all right. No, we're beginning with a picture of the Tomatina. Um, this is a, a, an annual Spanish festival, which we're missing, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to, um, to, 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 to go to, to Spain the next time. It, it occurs, roughly speaking, a, a little bit later than the IETF meeting was slated for. Um, but obvious, this is a slide I've used previously, um, and sometimes I think it's um, and it, it, it reflective of the uh, sausage making process of standardization. Um, and so uh, hopefully today we won't have one of these, but you know, you've all been in one of those meetings, and, and uh, so a welcome. And then here we do have the note well. Um, Brian and I uh, got to discuss uh, a little bit about what we thought we wanted from this meeting. Uh, early on uh, when he when he joined. And um, Brian, as soon as you're able to join, just interrupt me and speak, okay? Oh, you asked to send audio. Okay, now great. How do I get him to do that? This would be the part where I need to find the right button for him. Let's see here, where is Brian? Just a moment. People, Brian, where are you? How come Brian isn't even showing up on my thing here? Just uh, fair. He there should, you be are. Able, should be able to send audio without a problem anyway. So, um, yeah. Should, should. If I can hear you, Wes, I'm pretty sure we should be able to hear him. 
So I'm not quite sure what's going on um, with that. So uh, let's see here. Yeah. All right, let's um, let's proceed, and then um, we'll just sort of uh, make our way through this. And uh, if somebody wants to try, and, and hopefully Brian will, will rejoin and, and have the necessary access. So. Uh, um, yeah, it could be that he's having, that's a good point, Wes. It could be that he's having problems with um, uh, connect connectivity. All right, so uh, you all know the note well. Uh, some of you uh, know it better than me, and uh, some of you um, uh, probably had something to do with writing it, so we're gonna proceed uh, under the assumption that we know the note well. Um, so we have the, the basic part of the agenda today, the, the overall goal, um, is um, that uh, that we wanted to see if we could find a direction. Um, there are clearly a number of points of view uh, that people have shared, and um, we wanted to see. Uh, we wanted to test if we could uh, if we could pick the, uh, one direction and sort of travel in that direction uh, in the process of uh, in, in terms of trying to define a proposal. So. Um, Video closed. Okay, my video got closed. Everybody probably, can you guys still hear me though? All right, I'm not, uh, let's see. Hear you. Okay, you just can't see me. So I'm gonna try sending video again. All right. All right, so um, we, um, you know, we've, we've heard a lot from, we, we've had a couple of proposals uh, that were written out um, we have a we, we've had a couple of good interim discussions, um, and this is a you know it's an IAB program. Even though it's run like a working group, um, one of the things about IAB programs and IAB efforts in general is that they tend to look very far into the future, or and and, and also sometimes have very broad scope beyond what a working group would normally have. Um, and uh, so we that means that just that the problems that we're dealing with are are, are a little bit more difficult to sort. And um, so, uh, you know, that's why I think, you know, if it seems like we've taken a slow start and a little bit meandering, uh, part of that is um, just in the way that our program is described. We, you know, we have a very open mandate. Um, and so we need to find our way a little bit. And we've had some really good, um, uh, it, 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 we've had some really good discussions um, you know, in terms of uh, what people want, what what their goals are, we, we've created a bit of a wiki here, and um, uh, and we, we we documented some of those out, and so uh, you know we've, we've we've had a lot of discussion about you know what along those lines, and the the sole decision that I think we've come to, and it's not a perfect consensus. Um, but a uh, a reasonable one is a reasonably more than rough consensus is that we we've already decided that in the future at least as we write out whatever it is we write out we know that the RSC will not have veto uh, authority on on documents. Um, and so, uh, well, congratulations, group. We've made one decision, um, actually, which is pretty good. And we've actually made a couple of more minor ones, which are more around, you know, should we, you know, should we establish the way we're operating and, and such like that. And we, we're now turning away from, you know, just problem definition a little bit toward, um, you know, can we pick a road and 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 and, and sort it. Um, so you know, we asked a bunch of questions, uh, and and this is I think these are the ones that uh, um, uh, Brian asked, um, and we got a lot of feedback on on the questions actually, and um, uh, which was good. Uh, that led to refined questions, um, and uh, so the the refined questions were 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 what you see here. So um, today, uh, what we wanted to do was actually go through a lot of these questions. And we, we have a very, if you will say, abbreviated agenda. That is to say, everybody's had the opportunity to review this material for you know, some number of weeks. We've had a lot of discussion. 
we're going to try to make use of the hum tool, um, which hopefully Brian will, will help out on once he catches up. Um, otherwise, everybody's going to help me a little bit in terms of how to go using this. Um, and the goal is really just to hum along a couple of lines. We have enough time for a little bit of discussion on each point, but not a lot of time. Uh, so um, I, I think the way we, we, Brian, and if you can, you can type this into the chat, I think what we said was about 10 minutes or so per question plus minus. If we get past the questions faster, then, um, we can, you know, we can spend more time, and um, the idea is to to based on the hums, and once they're confirmed on the the mailing list, um, we would um, we would uh, we would um, we would hum. We would we would then try to develop proposals along the lines of the results of the hum. Um, and uh, let's see here, so. Uh, that having been said, I just want to back up to the agenda for a moment because I forgot uh, to do one thing, um, which I, which is the top agenda item. And I, before we go any further, are people comfortable with sort of where we're going? And I'll just open up the, do, do people feel the need to bash the agenda further? And I'm really hoping not because this material has been out there, but if you feel the need to, please do. Okay. Very good. Then um, let's see here. Knowing that it, my mic is working, um, I'm assuming that everybody else's is except for Brian's. Um, I've heard Wes. Um, let me just make sure that there's no. Uh, does anybody see any questions popping up in the queue? I don't see any, so I think we seem to be okay. Um, all right. Then let us proceed back. Let us travel forward on the slides. Right, so our first question, and I just want you to look at sort of the, the top half of the screen. Let's see, did, did people hear me when I sent audio? Apparently not. So do you have a, uh, uh, this is um, uh, Jared, I apologize. Jared, uh, um, let's see here. No, we did not hear you. Did, did anybody else hear you? Maybe it was me. Okay, no, Jared. All right, so I'm, I'm hearing, uh, I think I heard Lucy there you know, chime in. Uh, good morning, Lucy, and thanks for joining at a very early hour for you, presumably. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't you. Okay, sorry. Can, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Hey. All right. All right. At least I got audio. At least I got audio. Okay. Did you have anything to say besides that? No, no, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. I can do the hums. I got the hums. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, so uh, let us proceed forward. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so um, our first question, we had some uh, some dialogue here on, um, you know, how is it that the the um, uh, the RPC itself uh, would be structured, and and um, you know who who actually is going to manage the RPC in the future, and um, you know, today it pretty much runs through the through the ED, um, and and then up to the LLC. And so um, the, there was some discussion of actually having somebody, you know, uh, that that separately manage manages the uh, uh, the uh, the RPC. Oh, Joel, can you talk or no? I see Joel has made a request. So Joel, go I ahead. Can there. So I, I was trying to actually use the queue procedure, requesting and waiting until it was granted rather than just grabbing it, which yes, it works, but it's not good. Um, the, there, the, there's an oddity in the way you phrase that because currently the executive director doesn't in a day-to-day -day sense manage the RPC. AMS does that. So and it's a, I just found the phrasing a little odd, so I wanted to request clarification. Yeah, I think the intent here, and this is where we get our ten minutes of discussion, is um, is is to be clear. At, at number one, that there is going to be somebody other than the ED 
who is responsible for, or, uh, who is separately responsible, I should say, for RPC management, apart from any strategic functions that we discuss later, right? That the RP, that there be a person who uh, who is responsible for uh, managing and standing up for and in front of uh, the RPC. Dave, go ahead, please. Dave, go ahead. In here in the home, which is should the RPC be managed by something that is specific to the IETF stream in the hierarchy, or should it be independent of stream, right? Because you could argue that the executive director is specific to the IETF stream. You might be able to argue that about LLC or whatever, but IAB you could argue is over all streams, as is the, uh, in some sense, right, in terms of the, uh, the program, uh, as well as the current RSC is over all streams. And so I think part of this question about is there a person other than the IETF executive director who manages the RPC for all streams it would be a way of refining the question in a way that might become uh, clear for some people's opinions. Eric, as such? Um, I mean, we're taking a position on what should or shouldn't happen. As a practical matter, the money is coming from the IETF LLC. And so as long as that continues to be the case, I don't see how the the, the executive director can do other than manage the RPC in some sense. Right. So thanks, Ecker. Um, and good morning to you. Um, insert IETF before executive director. I think you mean this as such, right? Is that well, okay, Dave? There is no IETF executive director. There's an IETF LLC executive director, correct? As such, Stephen, go ahead. So, uh, when you say manage, uh, do you mean manage the contract? I think, as opposed to manage the people's holiday vacation forums and so on, right? I think it's managing the the deliverables and the and the day to day. It's both managing deliverables and day to day, actually. That doesn't. Yeah, I think Joel raised that. It doesn't. It seems more like managing the contract now. I, that's not a thing I've done, so I don't know the right words. But I defer. Okay, Martin, please. Oh, Joel's first. I'm sorry, Joel. Why don't I see the queue? This is sort of weird. Thank you. Okay, so yes, my point was, the LLC executive director Jay manages the contract and has overall responsibility, but does not do day-to-day -day management. And nothing I've heard in any of the discussions in our, on the list suggested that we wanted to task him with day-to-day -day management of the people on the RPC. That would be a major increase in his workload for no benefit. Right. So and, I, and the question I, I currently phrased looks completely wrong. So it's not the manages question. the RPC. The question is, who does this job? Who handles, who stands in front of the RPC? That's, when... been, that's an AMS person. The person who manages the RPC is actually an AMS person. They are employees of AMS. And, and, who and manages AMS is part AMS of the contract. Part. That's the contract with the, with the ED. But the, but the RPC is managed by the person who manages the RPC staff. And okay, if you so write the, it the way so you've Joel, written it, it confuses this. Okay, so Joel, the issue here is that when we talk, we, we, there was a lot of talk about pro, project management, right? At the end of the day, is the project management owned by the ED or is it owned by AMS? Okay. Projects within the RPC are currently managed by AMS. Projects that are outside of the RPC are currently managed in other ways. The, uh, the, now, the question of who AMS reports to about those projects historically has been the RSE, and there is some question that maybe it should be the ED, and I understand that question. But if you phrase it the way you have right now, I have no idea how to hum. Okay, so give me better phrasing on this, if, if, if we can. The, 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 the goal here is... Um, to establish who does the the the, the product manage the project management and the RPC management in particular. 
<laughs> Maybe those are two separate things, but. We're, we're running on our 10 minutes and we have three people in clue, queue. So I'll let the other two speak, the other three people speak because they may have a better idea than I do. <laughs> Martin. Okay. So is that Brian, by the way? I, I, was, I think Joel now that they're. Go ahead, Martin. Is, uh, I'm, I'm speaking. I don't know if I can be heard or not. Yeah, you can be heard. You can be. Okay, um, let's see here. Christian. Christian. Ah, okay. Christian dropped. Lucy. Christian. Okay. Okay, does it work you, now? You, yes, you got yes. it. Yeah. Uh, there are two parts in the uh, RPC RSC uh, work in practice. There's one part which is unstucking uh, the uh, RPC when there is a difficult editing decision to make. And th that's what we uh, tended to call the tactical part in the, um, in the, in the contract for John. And, but that's not exactly management, it's more advisory. There's another part which is setting performance goals for the RPC. And those performance goals are in terms of, say, how many pages are you supposed to edit in a month, how many RFCs, uh, how long does it take, and things like that. Now, the relation is supposed to be today that the RSC sets those performance goals with discussions or with the RSOC and whoever. And the uh, a LLC and and the um, and then so setting the performance is one thing. The next thing is the uh, RSC uh, decides or makes a report regularly about whether the RPC is meeting those performance goals. And the thing which is really project management for me is that latter part. I mean the RSC doing studies and reports to see that the RPC is meeting the performance goals. And that thing, in my mind, could be easily done directly between the LLC executive director and the RPC manager at AMS without taking the uh, RSC in the loop. And that would lower the, um, the workload for the RSC and that would make uh, the uh, contractual negotiation and contractual contract enforcement much clearer. So just just I want I want you to restate again what you were what you're saying, Christian. Is so you have one part which is who who sets performance goals uh, for the RPC and, hold, and holds them accountable. And no, the hold them part, accountable is that's the second part. Is holds them accountable. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the performance goals are expressed in terms of uh, defining the metrics of uh, w what the work shall, what the RPC shall do. Okay. And, and so yeah. are these two questions, do people prefer these two questions to, as, as a manner to proceed? Let me put it another way. Do people, are there those who would object to replacing the first question with the second two that I have highlighted? Mike St. John's, please. Good morning. Go ahead, Mike. Uh oh. There he goes. All right, try again, Mike. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Sorry. Way too many buttons. Um, the, again, the RPC is a contracted entity. Once the contract is set, 
the management of that is solely the on one side the LLC and whoever they assign to manage the contract and on the other hand on the other side it's whoever's managing the RPC people so the performance goals are set in the contract with community input holding them accountable is solely a contract management thing there really isn't a question here unless we're not doing unless the RPC is some flavor of volunteer organization that we're, we're just folding in amongst everything else so okay before you go Bob Kristen do you want to comment back on that point I would agree that that's what it should be in theory. That's not what's happening in practice, because in practice, the performance goals have to change over time based on circumstances. For example, uh, as a consequence of uh, doing the new format work that happened, it happened mid-contract for the RPC, and then uh, the, the, the work changed. And so, uh, in practice today, the RSC was tasked in revising the performance goal of the RPC while the contract was going on. Now, uh, you may say, Mike, that it is poor uh, contract management, and uh, I, I would give that some uh, credit, but that's what happens today. I think it should be personal. I personally agree with Mike, it should be much clearer. I mean, the community, the RSC, whoever gives input to the LLC about what performance goal shall be in the contract, and then the LLC executes the contract. Bob Hendon, you had a comment. Hi. Um, so I think this is, I think the questions are confusing. Because I think there's clearly the LOC manages the contract. What's some of the things in the contract are are more policy that are probably not created by the LLC. So I, I think these I think trying to capture this in this way doesn't there's not really a question as both I think Christian and Mike have said, you know, the there's not a there's not a question here to hum. It's the words need to be more accurate to map what we're actually trying to do here. Okay, so um, I think what I've heard is that there has been confusion in the past about this and there's been some debate as to the role of the RSC. You'll notice that the RSC's name has not yet appeared here. Right. So the, the first question is, right, it sounds like what we have is people would like to essentially maintain the process of the uh, community giving input into how the L RPC is run. The L uh, it, this is what uh, essentially what, what Christian said. Is there any debate about that point at this point? Lucy, please. Oops. Brian, I think you might be pushing the buttons that clear people off the queue before they talk. I thought I was giving them the queue. That's what <laughs> I normally do. I did it. Trying. All right. There we go. Go ahead. Lisa. Good morning. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. OK. I, I, I actually think you have a cart and horse problem here and that you're trying to solve a down in the weeds management problem without fully talking about the role of the RSE and the role of the RPC and the various streams before you get to how you're going to twiddle the knobs that let you control the contract. So thank you for the comment. This was meant to be sort of a warm up question um, and it's clearly warmed things up a bit more than we intended. Um, but uh, if, if, people don't, uh, if, if people don't believe we can answer this, we're going to move on. Mm -hmm. okay, I, I don't so. think that we have a question that we're agreeing to, and I don't think we're going to get there. And I think people think that it, we're, we're in the weeds. And so let's, let's just move on. Okay. It's just not something we need to answer right now. Okay. Um, 
All right, uh, just a moment. So the next question is more around, um, this is shorthand for the discussion we've been having, right? Which is, um, and this is not, we're gonna need to wordsmith the question now that I look at it a little bit more, which is um, unfortunate, but there it is. We have, um, we ha we've had some discussion about how the, the, the RFC series should be uh, managed over time. Um, and is the, it, 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 should there be a board a la an RSOC or something like that? A standing working group much, very much similar to what we have here, right? Or a program very much. A combination of the two uh, as a means for overseeing uh, the, the, the strategic direction of the, um, uh, of, of, the, of the series. Russ, please. I think that we already have the stream managers and that they make up this, and I don't think that's what you mean by board, and therefore I don't think any of these choices tell us that. Uh, well, let's add another one, other. As such, Russ? Try right again. Oh, he's gone. From, from the queue, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, try again, Russ, if you can. why yep. it's under other but i other than that it's fine oh let me do this i'm easy <laughs> okay so um the, let's let me make clear the the question just so that we're while you're doing that russ uh joel go ahead I was, I was, I was about to ask that he clarify the questions. So he's doing so. Thank you. Okay. okay. Is that about the right question? Well, get rid of the the, the options. Just who addresses the ongoing strategy and the possibilities are those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so these are the questions. Let's give a few minutes for, for, for comment, right? There was discussion about the stream managers. We've talked about this being a standing group. There are other people who would like a board. Mike put, up, put forward a proposal along those lines. Um, and then uh, let me just say. Uh, Michael, go ahead. Thanks. Um, Obviously, the one thing that we're missing here is the RSC. So, part of part of the process, there there may be a combination of them, and I think the I think a, a professional RSC is is still one of the things we want to think thinking about here. We're getting there. Um, that there, it's, there's a it's part of this happen. question. So, okay. So, your your one's thinking could be that you have a person who does all of this ongoing uh, strategizing and not uh, a word group. So that's a, a fair point, Mike. Um, and then the, the question will then turn around, turn to how that person is managed, right? Uh, but but let, us, let, let us at least, let us assume for the moment that if there is a person, that that person would report to one of these. And Mike, is that fair? Or at least dotted line to one of these? No, not actually. Again, same same argument with respect to the RPC. This is a contractor. The management of the contract and the contractor comes under the LLC. The relationship of the program comes under this. This is not this doesn't give this group of people the right to tell whoever you hire as the RSC what to do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a group of people that helps with the ongoing strategy for the RSC for the RFC series itself. Okay, if there is a problem with the person or whatever we end up 
in that space than it is an LLC problem and an LLC and, and it gets handled under contract rules, not under random people deciding that it's a bad idea that this person is doing X, Y, and Z. Martin. Okay. Um, yeah. let, let, we got people in the queue. Let them, so I'm, let them talk. I'm in trouble with what your requirements are. Yeah. Um, can you state the requirements that you're trying to address by um, filling this hole? I think this is this is the problem. It's who does strategy for the series. Sorry, who addresses ongoing strategy for the RFC series? Mark? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, actually, good morning. Um, so I'm having trouble separating this, some aspects out of this question. To me, this mixes in uh, uh, the notion of, of how we determine the strategy and, and how open that process is. So, you know, presumably, uh, if it's a person, that person could just make the decision themselves and walk away, or they could consult the community widely, or they could be held accountable somehow. This doesn't speak to that. If it's a board, it could be a board in secret that has secret meetings and never reports to the community, or it could be a very open process. A working group obviously is more open. I think that's more accountable, and that's why I would be tilted towards that. But I don't know if you want to conflate these things or whether you want to separate them. I'm not sure what you mean by conflate or separate, Mark. Um, the I understand that I, I think your point is, and let me see if I can restate it, which is that if you have anything other than the working group or uh, an open working group, then you have to explore the accountability of each of these individuals. Would that be the fair statement? Not only accountability, but also you know how it interacts with the rest of the community. Um, it's not just you know the sort of Damocles. It's also you know, do they take input from the rest of the community? And if so, how? And is that input in the open or is it secret? It's transparency. Thank you, Rich. And how much of that should we decide in advance? Right, that's a, I another think quite question. a bit, personally. Okay. okay. So um, I'm trying to figure out. We got more people in the queue. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Bob. Yeah, I mean, so I personally think that there needs to be a group, there should be a group, but it's not, you know, it's, then there's the question of who's in the group, you know, like probably should have the stream managers, it should have the RSE, the RSE is probably the chair of the group, the group needs to have some procedures about how it resolves issues, so it's not, this is not the right you know, I think we want to, there needs, you know, and it, it probably needs to have some community representation. It, that was know, the it, notion of the board. You're describing what, what we said when we said a board. Okay, but I can't read that into that on the slide. So, but, but this is, so I think that if these are supposed to be choices on the screen, then, you know, I, uh, I'm not sure we're getting there. I mean, I, again, I think what Mike proposed and the thing he wrote up a while back was pretty close, what, at least to what makes sense to me. Uh, obviously, the details are going to get worked out. So, so it, 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 just trying to explain what we thought we were doing, we, we thought we were trying to deal with whether there's a, there is some kind of board that has people that 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 is relatively long lived, but there's a small number of people who are appointed in some form, either by office or by nomcom or whatever. Or is there a working group? And or is there a person? And really, stream managers is a board with a very limited um, uh, uh, participation. 
so you could you could think screen managers is is a, is a is a runt case of board if you want but that was the idea is it is it is it a work group is it is it some body that we constitute or is it something else or or is it the RSC or some equivalent of the RSC that's the question we're trying to trying to figure out who does strategy yeah, I mean, I guess the trouble I have with when you call it a board, I think of like the LLC board or the ISOC board of trustees. And I don't think it's quite, I think it's a bit more operational than that. Okay. But, Poor choice but, of words, got a better word? It's a group, an appointed group. Um, yeah, off the top of my head, I'm not sure, but. Okay. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is a committee, but. Eric. Um, so, I mean, I think it'd be helpful at some point to be clear on what um, we think strategy means here. Um, as an observer of this process, um, it seems uh, not this particular process, but the uh, uh, the overall RFG process is notably quite slow moving um, from, from my strategy perspective. Um, um, I guess perhaps I think part of the problem is the use of the word addresses here. Because as far as I can tell, the last major thing we did actually had like pretty wide participation um when the xml thing um and did and wasn't just like you know wasn't just driven by some small set of people um at the end of the day um so it was open for comment so um you know uh i i guess so you know in, in that case, so there's a concept perhaps of leading the strategic conversation versus the concept of how the strategic conversation happens. Um, I don't see how one can make like major changes to like the, I mean, we, we can't even figure out how to make major changes to like the organization of the system without having like an open discussion. So I can't imagine making major change like the system as a whole without a normal, with an, an open discussion. So I don't think the question so much necessarily is who sets the strategy because all of these sort of things that are like, well, we have some closed small group that makes those decisions are like unacceptable. It's who is responsible for driving that conversation. And, and and that question then is, I think, you know, uh, how much you already in a working, working group setting. Okay, I have a okay. question, which is, has anybody, uh, has anybody who spoke, did they actually get to see the slides in advance or the questions in advance? Because that's, you know, we sort of have a, a, a question that follows along those lines. And um, so they, they, maybe there's too much packed into the chair's heads that we shorthanded things just a bit too much. Right, which is the presumption is that uh, somebody has to either address or oversee, if you would prefer the, the word, right, or actively participate in the development of uh, the strategy for the series. And so that would be either a small group of people, and I want to, and the reason I'm a little nervous about person being here, right, is that we have this other question that's sort of hanging out there, right, which is. Is there a need for a thought leader who can run a community, who can who can um, drive the community to to uh, to answer some of these questions? And that thought leader could be responsible to a committee in terms, of, or at least it, it, the purpose of that person would be to to essentially drive the discussion, right? And then for the either the committee to make a decision, a working group to make a decision stream managers to make a decision i'm not sure about a person making a decision but putting this into context does that does that at least provide a bit more clarity as to you know what we thought were sort of the decision points we were hearing from the discussion and um no Mike? yeah there we go uh eric do you have something to say at this point for this to this I can't hear you. He was asking me. Yeah. Yeah, go on, Eric. Go on. Well, yeah, we got other people in the queue. Fine. Col Colin, okay. Colin's there. Yeah, let, let Colin go. Okay. Hi. Uh, I was going to say, um, I think we need to be clear what type of committee is meant. Uh, I mean, Mike certainly had one proposal, which has some merits and some problems. Um, I think you could argue that the existing RSUC is a committee. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that people would necessarily want that to continue as the uh, the, 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 the the body for this role. Uh, you could also the, argue the IAB would be a committee, uh, and I'm sure you could think of many different models as well. Um, so saying 
a committee, I think, would depend on uh, what type of committee and how it was constituted and what were its terms of reference and so on. So I think it's it's a bit general to how long do, do we want a committee to to run this? So the uh, reason, Colin, just stick with us for a moment. The reason we 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 asked the question at the general level was that the next step would be to ask exactly that question. Okay, let's see if we can come up with the sort of committee that people would be happy with. Um, and let that be a working item as a next step, right? Which all of these things are rather general and would require further development as a next step. The, this is not, you know, just as you said, it could be many different types of committee. Does that clarify it for you a bit? Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. I just want to, to make sure we're, we're not pre, predetermining the outcome of how that committee works at this stage. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. Michael. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, you were talking about the XML stuff as as sort of one of those things that's sort of strategy. And the strategy was actually, do we change, the, the strategic question was actually, do we change from our, our reference implementation being text to something else? <clears throat> the implementation of that turned out to be, yeah, we'll pick up the XML we were already doing. Um, and then the actual implementation of that was a combination of um, a good XML person plus the guidance of the RSC um, plus various other folks talking about the the um, uh, vocabulary, if you will. So I wouldn't I wouldn't stick your I, I would I would try and sort of go up another thousand or two thousand feet when you're thinking about strategy here. Okay. Okay, Wes. So, you, you know, the I, I'm torn. Right, this this discussion is incredibly important. Um, but one of the things that I think that that this group really needs to to concentrate on is one, making a decision fast enough. And I think we spent a lot of time on this. Um, and we are in the process of designing a committee as a committee. So it's you know really committees all the way down at this point. Um, and how do we avoid the mistakes of the past, which specifically came out of you know a committee in the first place that didn't work out well? Um, so I, I don't have an answer out, but I'm just warning you that, that this looks like a, a rather large time sink to not make a whole lot of progress forward on the bigger picture. It, it, this seems to me, this is Brian, that this seems to me we're, we're really trying to more eliminate options not eliminate options, but at least concentrate our discussions in a small number of areas instead of having everything up on, in, in the air. So if we think that this is something that someone like an RSE does, fine. If we think that it's something that is a work group who does it, fine. And if we think there's some other group of people who does it, fine. But and then we can talk about, and we don't have to decide today who that entity is. We're trying to, if, if it isn't the RSE, that's a good thing to know, that there's some other larger group of people, right? So help us out in trying, instead of answering the question, think of it in terms of el not eliminating, but at least concentrating our discussion in a smaller number of places. We're currently all over the map. We're trying to figure out if there's a sense of the group of what direction we should go, not make a decision. Michael. And if there, if there is an RSC, and that's a big if, if, right, there's still a whole question about that, that person would presumably at least um, either lead or, or in, 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 in either lead this committee or have a have a big a big role in terms of a of, of facilitating the establishment of the strategy. And maybe um, even how to utilize some of it is the I is the thinking. My so uh, it's actually one of the things we were getting confused about here. It's basically a committee of experts as opposed to the working group standing program where anybody can join. So you may want to just tag that particular thing, or at least that's what I'm thinking of it as. It could be, right? Experts could be part of the committee, could be part community members, right? It's, it's, it's it, the composition of the committee, right, itself is something to be decided. 
No, uh, what I'm saying is there's a big difference between a committee of experts and a committee of random people joining just because they're ha they have an interest. So, yes, and that's what the working group standing program might be closer to. Whereas what we're generally thinking about are people who are the stream managers tied into a daily, tied into a need to, to advocate for what they, what they need from their streams as opposed to a working group standing program where random people come in, um, spend five minutes throwing things at stuff and then leave. So that's why I'm just saying, I think what you're looking there is a committee of experts for the first one, and then a different type of committee maybe be, is, is really quite a different thing. Okay. Um, I think I, I I do think we have a pretty clear choice here, right? But things things need to be worked out, right? Either we have a committee that's going to oversee this, or we have an a pretty much an open working group, right? These are these are and, and by the way, or we have a person overseeing. And, please, please. Sorry. Bill. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I'm really upset with what's going on at the moment. Because it seems, you know, I've been shouted down by people who call themselves experts. And I raised some very simple issues about the SVG spec. At the moment, we are forced to use a standard for SVG that isn't actually a standard, isn't supported anywhere. And every time I try to raise this, I was told, oh, it's already been decided. The experts have spoken. And then when I actually did some diving through the list, I found nothing of the sort had happened. But I was being fobbed off all the time by, oh, you're not an expert. Phil, you have no knowledge at all of the web. All right. So, um... Yeah, Phil, uh, thanks for the comment. Um, certainly, uh, it, it, it isn't good when people claim that, that things were done that weren't. Um, the chairs are sitting here chatting in the background. Um, we do want to call this particular question. Okay? And the way we want to do it, I think, is we're going to give sort of three choices to see if we can, if, if we can resolve uh, some of this. Um, as a starting point, not an ending point, right? The idea is how should we focus our work as we move forward with the assumption that A, there will be a committee, B, there will be an open, uh, there'll be an open working group, or C, there will be a person. And if there's a person that's managing this, right, then, we, then the, the, that means that the next step is that there'll need to be some sort of uh, or actually for each of these, right, there would have to be some sort of proposal made that furthers any of this. Does that make sense? Eric, do you want to, I'm sorry, Brian, do you oh, want Bob, to comment? Bob, Bob first, then Eric. Well, uh, you first, actually. Do you, did I describe uh, that correctly? Yes, that's correct. I'm trying to okay. cut down options, make it simple, something we can actually get a hum out of. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Yeah, so I think the question that Brian asked a little while ago. So I think as it or is now, at least at specified in the RFCs, it should be the RFC series editor who is the, the lead on the strategy for the RFC series. How they implement that, whether there's probably people behind them, around them, in a bunch of different roles we can talk about later, but I think the simplest answer for this, it's the RFC series editor. Okay, thanks. Eric? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this seems like a little premature home-wise. This discussion's been all over the place. Um, and I understand the chair's going to want to prune, but the idea that we're going to like have 15 minutes of discussion and then hum on the on part one, maybe the most important question, um, that seems uh, misguided. Eric, if if we could 
if 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 the HUD shows that everybody wants the RFC, then we've learned something. If the HUD shows that we're 30-30-30, then we've learned something else. We're just trying to figure out if there's any consensus within the work group at all, right? We're all over the map. We're trying to get to the point where instead of everybody having 25 opinions, we're, we're down to a smaller number. You don't think that that's worthwhile at this point or possible? Is it even a better question? I don't think, I think it's premature. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let me ask the question. I, I, I do, do. First of all, is do people agree with Eric? I'm gonna, uh, if, if people think we're premature, then we will we will step back and, and continue the discussion. It w it will take a while, right? It, it, sometimes these things do, and I think we're going to have to step up our interim uh, uh, our, our interim meetings so that we get some more face to face time to actually try and develop um, the the concepts that people want to put forward as alternatives. Um, so All right, just let's, um, let's do a simple hum on: Are we? Is it? Can we ask this question? Yes yeah. or no? No. Let's do that. This will be, this will be the, the trick where, Brian, you have to manage the hum tool. I got it. Okay. Wait a minute. Is... It does not allow, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Give me a, somehow there's a, there's a hum running and I, and I didn't do anything, didn't type anything. It'll be over shortly. Learning to use the tool, sorry. I okay. have practiced this particular one, and I thought I got it right. Hum softly or long, loudly or whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry. It'll be over shortly. All right. Start a new hum. No. There's no question. Hmm. Question, question using audio, or you have to write it into the slide. Just Becky, you ask the right. question out loud, okay. and then you turn on the hub. All right. So I will let this go. I played this, and I, I've clearly forgotten in the four days that I did this. Um, all right. So the hum on the on the line is: Do are we ready to answer this question? So yes means we're going to run that three-way hum. No means we're going to move on. Okay? Is that everybody clear on the question? Rich. So we're going to do two uh, homes? Yeah, uh, no. Well, we're going to do one home, and now, so depending on that, we're not going to do another one. If, if, the, if we're not ready, the we're just going to move on. Way. Brian, the hum tool doesn't work that way. Well, because all we're going to do is the hum is yes or no. Yes. But there, the hum tool doesn't no. work that way. So, so got you got to ask, what's the, the, the question is, yes. the, the hum will be for answering the question. And the then hum another be... hum for not answering, because that's the only thing you can compare with this hum tool. Got it. Okay. Sorry, I understand your point. I understand your point. Okay, it is the, way we can, the only way we can do it. Yes. Okay. So we will run two questions, a, a hum for yes and a hum for no. Are we now clear on what we, what we have? All right. So, um, so hum on. for those who, those who think we're ready to try to run this three-way question, please hum now. All right, that was a piano mid, mid thing. So now we're going to ask the, the no. No, we're not ready to, to, um, to, to do this. So if you don't think we're ready to, move, to 
um, answer this three-way question, hum now. Hope that's okay for you there, Pete. Even right. less. So, so we got a we got a middling answer, no, 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 and I think it's given. Hold on a second, Brian. It's the other way around. Long, long tail way around, right? It's it's. Slightly stronger for not doing it. Um, okay. It was piano versus forte, right? Yeah. Um, now, what do you want to do? <laughs> well, that's the question. So it seems to me like we we need to develop this question quite a bit more, right? Which is yes, um, right. And what I I guess what we'll we'll do is let's spend a little bit of time because um, it, it seems to me that mostly this is our work here. Yeah, and. Um, so what maybe what we can do is propose an alternative, which is that we allow for fleshed out proposals even along lines A, B, and C at the same time um, and, and that might uh, address some of the key aspects like accountability, visibility, participation, um, and al allow those to, to, to to mature. So for instance, if Mike, you wanted to mature your proposal, or if Martin, you wanted to mature a proposal that looks at a working group or a standing proposal, and I'm just naming people who have, have taken various positions, but anybody is welcome to. And Neville has participated in, the, in this, and Brian has put forward a draft as well, Brian Carpenter. Would, let, maybe we can try that as another example of a hum, Brian uh, Rosen, what do you think? I don't think we're, I, I think we, we, we don't have a good answer. I think we, as you said, we should work on this and try and come up with a way of uh, determining, cut, cutting down the number of options um, and, 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 and moving forward. I mean, you know, we're, we don't know. The answer is we don't know. So we'll just keep going. Okay. okay. Let, it's okay let's to, open, to not know. Yeah. Let's open the floor though, then perhaps for, for ways to take the discussion forward. Right. The right now, um, it seems to me people find if you, if you thought this was premature and you were the ones who hummed in the forte category, maybe you could talk about how you would like to get to a decision point. Right. The, the chairs would, would love, you know, what we're going to do after all of this is Brian and I and, you know, maybe our IAB advisors will will um, reconnoiter and try and, and, and try and find ways forward. But now is a good time. We have the time. Uh, if people would like to contribute their thought, thoughts, you, you, you've come that you're not ready for this answer. So what would lead us in that general direction and how would you like to proceed? Martin. Um, I would like to understand what our requirements are for strategy in a little bit more detail. I've had a lot of people talk about various mystical, magical things about publishing. So Martin, okay. would nailing down requirements be your 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 desire? Okay, I, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you to just clarify a little bit more because I'm trying to understand what what the chair's role here is. Going. How do we how do we drive the discussion based on this? Road? So say it, it, you say you'd like to understand the scope. Do you want to have a scope discussion about the program, the role, the um, 
you know, the, the role of, a, of, of the RSC, the role of the, uh, a committee or a working group. Say, say a few more words about that. Okay. Okay. Others? Uh, uh, next. Colin. Colin, go ahead. Hi. Um, so I, I think Martin said uh, something very similar to what I was going to say. Um, I think part of my concern here is we seem to be trying to define um, solutions before we have. Uh, a consensus understanding of what is the problem we're trying to solve. Michael. Go ahead, Mike. Hi. Sorry. Um we have a we've got worked examples of basically um, one expert sort of driving and managing the process of evolution. Um, the anything anything that changes that model is going to have to basically we're going to have to figure out how to pay for it um, and manage it um, in in some way, shape, or form. So, with respect to requirements. Um, Generally, how I, I don't actually know how you get to the point of nailing down the requirements, um, because for example, we already have we have a brand new requirement that seems to have popped up in the last you know four days or five days related to language. I don't know if that's part of the RSE process, but that is something that is going to probably need to be managed for our documents at some point. So, so Mike, just to just to follow up. Help us out a little bit here. How do you? What do you see as next steps here? How would you? How would you narrow? Uh, get to the point where we think we can make some decisions about direction. What would be your preference? All right. Well, I I mentioned before that way back when that we get into this sort of consensus paralysis process, and with respect to strategy, sometimes having one person who has the, if you will, veto or the power to just push gets us gets us forward and sometimes that's a strong chair for a working group sometimes in this particular case it's the rsc that we hire and we give that imprimatur to um, with respect to how we do this is um, we need to look at are there places where we're going to end up with this this road uh, log jam or roadblock and how do we get past it and i don't know how to do that um, without basically sort of saying yeah we're gonna we're gonna hire someone who is um who has the 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 dynamite to break the log jam so okay thanks eric sort of um echo what i, th I thought i heard martin and colin saying um i'd like to understand like what actual substantive problems we think will need to be solved in the next five years. Um, now, that won't be a complete list, but it will be a partial list. And if, the, and if it's a null set, well, that would be very interesting um, because I think that would help us understand what kind of structures would be required to solve those problems. Thanks. Rich? Go ahead, Rich. Yeah, uh, UI problem. No, sorry. I'm off the queue. Okay. Stephen? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm less comfortable with the idea of, of treating this as a requirements analysis because I think it's not necessarily possible to identify such requirements or for a strategy for something as nebulous as the RFC series ahead of time, which I think is, is likely to bias us towards ending up with something close to the null set, which then goes to 
the set of people who have the position. We don't really need an ROC. So I, I, I'm not sure that saying the, the, the right next thing that will determine where to go is a requirements analysis. If there are requirements, it's useful to know about those. But I suspect it will be too nebulous. OK, great. Thanks. Larry? Ah, what happened? If I knocked you out, Larry, I didn't mean to. There we go. Uh, is that better? Yep. Good. Yeah, I just wanted to concur about thinking. Seems like we've been thinking about the problem from the top down, thinking about it from the bottom up. One of the things that the RSC, uh, the RSC in the past has done for each of those, how much work and what kind of skills does it require? Could it be done, but done better? And and what kind of skills would be required to do it better, just to get a better handle on what 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 is what the past has been, and as a way of scoping out the overall problem. Okay, so you're asking, you're suggesting that one next step would be to re review, do a skill set review of, of any potential RSC. Well, in particular, one of the tasks involved, not just in general, but you know, editing RFCs, applying language, managing the XML transition, and what what are what are all of the things that you really expect out of the RFC before you can figure out whether or not you need a committee or you need somebody else could do the job, uh, or or other other things about it just to break down the work. Okay, so um, thank you. Um, first of all, uh, if if you look at the screen, if I didn't capture what you thought you said in, in, in a succinct form, please take the floor now and, and correct me. So I don't I don't want to I don't want to misstate anybody in, in, in any way. So if, if I have this wrong, now it's the time to, to say something. Otherwise, yes, yeah, Stephen, please go on. Uh, yeah, so it's, it, it wasn't trying to express a lack of thrill. <laughs> I'm often thrilled about lots of things. Uh, I, 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 my concern is that requirements analysis might bias us towards getting a null set outcome, which implies no need for an RSE, which is which is which which appears to be the choice of or, or preference of some, but not all of the people involved in this discussion. All right, so Stephen, let me, let me turn it around. And say, do you have a recommendation for a uh, a next step? I, I I suspect getting better fleshed out proposals for what to do about the whole thing might be more practical if we can get a set of those and and if people are willing to discuss variations on them. I kind of think people know what they want as outcomes here, um, and. Uh, it, what's not clear is how you get them to agree on some something that's not exactly what they start out with. Thank you, Lucy. I want to respond to something that Elliot said back at the top of this next steps process, where he said that the chairs would go back to the IAB and discuss the program. No, no, this excuse me, Lucy, but, Lucy. But, but this is not an IAB program. This is a community program housed within the IAB structure. And I would appreciate it if when you go back to consult with people, you also consult with the current stream editors and some other folks. Because I do. Yeah, it's only, we only driving just to, let me clarify that. El Elliot, let me finish. I believe there's mm -hmm. a group driving hard here towards a no RSC solution. And there is another group who think there needs to be some tweaks made to the current RSC model. And I think the way you're currently driving this, the null set is a likely outcome, as Stephen said, and that would be an unsatisfactory outcome, at least for me. Thank you. Okay, so let me let me let me note your comment first of all. Um, and Lucy, your your audio output is very low. It's very hard to hear you. Okay. Okay. Very low volume. Uh, 
Okay. Um, first of all, two points. Um, point number one is the uh, we we have two IAB advisors. They're listed on the program, and they do not have a decisional role. We just use them to bounce ideas back and forth, and that's it. Right? They they would they they have never told us to do anything. Right, and and they're both in, on the call, and you can confirm this with them, and you know these people well. Um, second, um, we the chairs are are not actually we haven't picked a direction. We we did not really anticipate that people would be unhappy with even holding the hum. So this is not a an area that we expected. So there's no bias on our part in terms of um, which which mechanism we would prefer. And the, the, we are mindful of Stephen's point and your point. We're also mindful of the comments that, that everybody else made. We just haven't, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're not in a position to process them on the spot and make, you know, make recommendations to the group as to how best to proceed. That's why we're taking in point. Brian, do you want to add any, anything to that? No, I, I mean, we're, clearly we're all flailing a little bit, but that's kind of the nature of the game. Um, it's not particularly surprising that we're still flailing a bit. Um, and um, I've heard several good suggestions for how to move forward. And, you know, I, we're, we're, we're writing down all our notes here um, and we'll figure out uh, uh, what, what, what we think we ought to do as chairs. Of course, um, the mailing list is very active and should remain active as we, you all contribute your ideas. Bob, you wanted to talk? Yes, <clears throat> thank you. Um, so, I mean, this this feels to me like second s system syndrome, trying to re look at everything and do everything we never did, and those usually fail. I'm confused as to why we aren't looking at the current practice. You know, it's defined in a bunch of RFCs, and see what incremental changes we want to make or what issues there are that might be a lot more productive than just trying to ask all of these basic questions because um, it to my just stepping back a bit to my take is that the reason we're doing this is because we had a problem with the the way the IAB was running the RSOC we, we weren't having a problem with the RFC series as far as I can tell and so another way of doing this is let's just look at the current current practice and figure out what you know think about this as abyss and what changes do we want to make you know and we do need to take into account that it is a running system we can't just we're not starting from you know this is not just a mm -hmm. conceptual idea we have mm -hmm. to continue publishing rfcs okay that's a great a, a, a great thing to think through thank you michael i think actually Lucy hit it right on the on the head that one of the things that this discussion is actually doing is the we still need an RSC versus no our an RSC is not in our future set of discussions. So perhaps um, going with what Bob's talking about, I, I I actually agree with his approach. If you want to get to the point, if you've got folks who don't want an RSC in there. We need some description of what the model might look like in, if that's going to be the case, rather than just we hate this as, as a we think this is a bad idea. How do you work it without the RSC? So, so that would be the 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 other piece of the maybe the other piece of this puzzle here, rather than requirements. Tell us what it looks like without without an RSC. Okay, thanks thanks, Mike. Um, uh, I think. I'm just going to uh, say that you're plus oneing uh, my uh, Lucy and Bob. Is that fair? Um, and you didn't actually count. You didn't actually put in what Lucy said, which was that we're having a discussion about having an RSC or not having an RSC, and that Bob's to suggest Bob on the RSC side is saying. What are the incremental changes that we need to make? Um, and on the other side, it's what what's the model without an RSC? And that's that's the detail that we would need to actually have that real discussion. 
So we have a lot of information about how to use an R, how an RSC would work. We don't have a lot of discussion how it would work without an RSC. Because uh, I think uh, so. So I think actually, you, you, first of all, thank you for your comment. Um, and um, I think I'm hearing actually a, 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 a that's a very sort of binary view, which we like binary in this world, right? Because <laughs> you know, we know how to. You know how to handle binary. So if, yeah, we can take two directions, right? We can say, okay, if we're going with an RSC, then we do some incremental. We, we get an incremental proposal based on what we think would correct what we think went wrong, as one one direction. Versus um, what I hear from a few others, right? Which is, well, this is an opportunity really to do away with the RSC. So now the the uh, that opportunity, if you will, is to flesh out. You know the, what what the world would look like if I'm if I'm uh, restating your your position correctly. Um, here is a cheerful problem that that I I foresee happening, and we will have I think as a group we're going to have to be mindful that if we, we the chairs could say go forward and let's develop both of those approaches, right? Let's see what they would both look like and maybe compare and contrast them, and we can do that and I think it might be a useful exercise. The concern that I, I have that may come to fruition in a really bad way is that we, we still are not able to, to, to find consensus points. And maybe we should just be brave and allow for that possibility, right? So uh, just, um, and, and which by the way is, is something that, that happens from time to time. Um, and, and so one of the things we can do is allow for the, both of those ways to go forward. Um, Richard? Hey, there you are. I can almost hear you, but not quite. Multi-phase multi commit is important. You know, we wouldn't want to have uh, people accidentally getting in the queue here, accidentally sending both media streams when they didn't intend to. Um, I was just going to suggest that a lot of the confusion here seems to be around exactly what problem we're solving here. Um, so much though I'm usually loath to write problem statement drafts, this actually seems like one where uh, getting down, getting written down some of the uh, the issues that people have with the current pro current pro program um, could be useful in terms of focusing discussion, kind of like what, what Bob suggested, because um, I think mm -hmm. that will point toward, you know, what the, the changes are that are, are necessary. here. So what's interesting about that, right, is we did spend the, the first couple of months of this program talking about that. What I didn't, what I, I don't think we, we got, what we ended up with was, I think, very diverse perspectives about what people would, you know, think needs to, that we had a, essentially a requirements focused effort along the, the Martin Mark view, Martin Mark Ericker as, as a couple of people along those views versus um, sort of a, a more narrow, a more tailored or, or, or evolutionary view from, from some other people. Richard, you want to respond back? Sorry. I'm a big fan of pain-oriented engineering. Um, you know, where are we feeling pain and how can we fix it? Um, so I, I think maybe I'm more on that kind of Ecker Martin uh, sort of train. Um, I, I think, you know, there, there are ideals um, that one might try and live up on, and there are things that are, co are concretely causing problems for the organization that are reducing participation, that are you know, wasting people's time. So I think getting especially those things written down, especially those pain points like that, th those I think are the things where, where we're likely to find energy to drive solutions. Okay, so I think we're, we're coming, we're, we're actually going to be, um, coming down um, to the wire in terms of time. Um, I, does anybody else want to add, contribute on the, 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 add their names to this list in one way or the other in terms of how, how next to proceed? Because we're going to, the, the chairs do need to reconnoiter a little bit and, and, and come up because I, I do, there's another question that I want to ask um, uh, after this under the any other business category. Um, any other comments or, or, or thoughts on these? before going once Lucy go ahead Bill no okay so, uh, the, 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 the list of my question 
It's not having a discussion about a discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for, forgive me. It's me typing while not thinking. Um, having a discussion. Thank you. Yeah. Hang on a second. Uh, okay. Yeah, I I'm sorry. I was concentrating on more than one thing. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, I was just going to comment here that one of the things I keep hearing whenever documents, you know, the document process comes up is that people start off by saying, oh, it's hard. Oh, we've got these archival, make it available in a thousand years time criteria you absolutely must meet and so on. And so what tends I see happening is a whole load of really absurd requirements being thrown down. And then people saying, oh, we don't know how to solve them. So we must have an expert. And then somebody raising their hand saying, well, I'm an expert. And then taking control of everything. Um, I think that that sort of mode of discourse keeps coming in here because this isn't something that is central to, you know, the very few of us who are actually people who spend their time thinking about archive and document series and publishing and all that stuff. And so we don't think of ourselves as experts. But if we just shuffle it off, saying, well, that's hard, we end up with nothing. Or worse, we end up with a process that has a block in it that you can't ever progress from because, well, we're not experts. Okay, I'm not quite sure I'm hearing what you think the next step should be out of all that, though. All right, um, I'll take your comment as a comment then um, at this point. All right, uh, I think our next steps are for the chairs to, to look at this information. Obviously, we should take this to the list um, it's for discussion. I think the chairs might be able to organize the, the what we have on the screen here a little bit more into, into several different paths as I discussed. Um, and then uh, what, what I think we'll do is we'll communicate back onto the list on that. Brian, do you want to add anything there? Uh, no, uh, I think we got our work cut out for us and um, I encourage list participation as, as always. Uh, mm -hmm. trying to uh, trying to get get somewhere instead of um, having a zillion ideas on the table and not getting rid of any of them right so um, there is one more then, then we had one question which I think also we need to put off so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna skip forward as you can see or skip backwards right so we, we had this question, we're going to put that off for the moment, I think, because I think this stuff needs to be resolved first. Um, and, and in terms of uh, how, how people are thinking. And then we also said we were going to ask for a doc editor. I think we need to put that off just a little while too until we, we understand what's going on here. We might need several doc editors and they need, and we might want them to self-organize. And this is a discussion we'll continue on the list. Um, I think there's another question, which is uh, more logistical. Uh, it seems to me that this group would work better if we could establish a tempo of, of virtual discussions. Do people agree or disagree on that point? I mean, do people want to comment? Because the chairs are more than happy to schedule some time uh, virtually. Uh, um, so, so that people can hash things out as they're making progress. These can be interim points of discussion. It doesn't have to be like we're, we're always going to be deciding every the most important thing at every meeting. Um, would, uh, would, would people like us, would, would people like the chairs to work on uh, making sure we have some time scheduled and we'll, we will continue the rotation of pain, if you will, if we do that. Um, otherwise, uh, absent that, we will wait in, until there's more demand on, or we perceive more demand for the meetings on the list. But now's an opportunity to say, yeah, go, to, go make sure we get some time scheduled. Comments? There's a comment on the list that uh, basically is, um, we meander too, too much to have a, a, a useful meeting. A useful virtual meeting. 
that we, we don't get things done, so people don't want to spend time at a meeting getting things done. So I understand that. I understand that. Okay, then we will, for the moment, not schedule time, just so that we're clear. Um, the chairs will will review all of this. We'll try and come up with a, a couple of ways forward and bring them back to the list. Um, any other, so I think we're at the any other business point of the discussion. Um, does anybody have any other business? I think not. Okay, then um, thank you for your participation. Um, we will um, be back to you on the list. And uh, thank you, uh, Braun, for, for taking meetings, uh, for taking minutes, rather. And um, we'll see you on the list. Thanks.